Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Divya Deshmukh and Hova Juk. This is a game from Chennai Open 2018. Divya Deshmukh had white pieces and she started with d4. Hova Juk played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit declined, knight to c3, bishop to e7, knight to f3, knight to f6, and now g3, transposing to the Catalan opening. Duke castled kingside, bishop to g2, d takes on c4, challenge accepted. Knight to e5, the standard move. Knight to c6, bishop takes on c6, b takes on c6, knight takes on c6, and now queen to d6. Queen to e8 is the most played move. Back to our game. Queen to d6. Queen to a4. Bishop to b7. If bishop goes to d7, then knight takes on e7 check. And after queen takes on e7, queen takes on c4. And after rook from f to c8, bishop to g5, c5, d5. White is better. Back to our game. We have queen to a4, bishop to b7. Knight takes on e7 check, queen takes on e7, and Divya castled king's side. Duke played e5. Another way to go was c5. So we have e5, d takes on e5, knight to g4, bishop to f4, g5 attacking the piece that is defending the pawn, bishop to d2, Knight takes on e5, queen to a5, intending knight to a4 and bishop to b4, queen to e6, it is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Should white grab the pawn on g5 or not? Divya played f3. What's wrong with bishop takes on g5? This would be a blunder because of queen to h3, threatening checkmate on g2, and if f3, then knight to g4. Black is winning. Back to our game. So Divya played f3, f6, knight to a4, Black to move, knight to c6 was played. g4 should have been considered. Knight to c6 attacking the queen. Queen to c3. Rook from a to d8. Let's take it back. If queen takes pawn on e2, what happens then? Then Black gets in trouble after knight to c5. Bishop is under attack. And the next move is rook from a to e1. And where is the queen going? Back to our game. Rook from a to d8. Knight to c5. Queen to d5. Knight takes on b7. Knight to d4. Let's take it back. If queen takes on d2. The knight takes on d8. Back to our game. So we have knight to d4. Discovered attack on the knight on b7. Rook to f2. e4 is also quite strong move. And then after queen takes on b7, queen takes on c4. Back to our game. Rook to f2. Knight to b5 attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? Divya played e4. Is that a confidence or is that a confidence? Queen takes on b7. Queen takes on c4, check. Rook to f7. Bishop to e3, removing the target. Knight to d6, attacking the queen. Queen to c5. Rook to a8. It is white to move. 
What is the best move for white in this position? Divya played e5. If pawns disappear in front of the black king, then black king will be very vulnerable. F takes on e5. Queen takes on e5. H6. Bishop to d4. Nothing serious. Just threatening checkmate. King to h7. Queen to e2. Queen to d5. Rook to d1. Queen to f5. Queen to c2. Offering to exchange queens. a6. Let's take it back. If queen takes on c2. Rook takes on c2. Rook takes on f3. Rook takes on c7. Check. White is a pawn up and in a better position. Back to our game. a6 taking the care of the pawn. Bishop to c5. Queen takes on c2 now because bishop is blocking the rook. Rook takes on c2. Knight to f5. Let's take it back. If rook takes on f3, then bishop takes on d6, c takes on d6, rook to c7 check, king to g8, rook takes on d6, white is better. Back to our game, knight to f5, bishop to f2, rook to b8, b3, knight to d6, rook to d3, rook to e8, g4, rook to e6, bishop to g3, rook from f to e7, a4, preventing knight to b5, white is intending rook from d to c3, king to g6, how about rook to e2, then rook takes rook, rook takes rook, bishop takes on d6, c takes on d6, rook takes on d6, white is winning, back to our game, king to g6 was played, rook from d, to c3, knight to e8, bishop takes on c7, h5, white is two pawns up, g takes on h5, king takes on h5, bishop to g3, rook to b7, king to g2, rook from e to b6, the threat is rook takes on b3, how to defend the pawn, divya played rook to c6, Knight to g7. If rook takes on b3, rook takes on a6. White is better. Back to our game. Knight to g7. Rook from 6 to c5. King to g6. Rook to a5. Eyeing the pawn on a6. Knight to e6. Rook to e5. King to f6. Rook to a5. Rook to d7. Let's take it back. If rook takes on b3, then rook takes on a6. And after king to f5, rook to a5 check. White is better. Back to our game. So after rook to a5, we have rook to d7. Rook to e2. Rook to d3. b4. Rook to b3. Rook to e4. Rook to b2 check. If rook from 3 takes on b4, then rook takes on b4, rook takes on b4, rook takes on a6. Again, white is better. Back to our game. Rook to b2 check. King to h3. Rook to b3 attacking the pawn on f3. And in this position, Divya played a very, very clever move. She did not play king to g2. If king to g2, then rook to b2 check again. This is devious, brilliant move. Bishop to f2. Daring black to take on f3. Rook to d6 was played. If rook takes on f3, what happens then? Then king to g2. And white is winning. Back to our game. We have rook to d6, king to g4, king to f7, rook to f5 check, king to g6, bishop to c5, defending and attacking, rook to c6, 
Let's take it back. If knight takes on c5, what is defending the pawn on g5? Rook takes on g5 check and white is winning. Back to our game. Rook to c6 was played. Bishop to e7. Knight to g7. Rook takes on g5 check. King to f7. Bishop to c5. Black as well could have resigned in this position. Knight to e6 attacking the rook. Rook to f5 check. King to g6. Bishop to f2. Knight to d8. h4. Rook to e6. h5 check. King to g7. If king goes to h6 then rook takes rook check. And after knight takes rook, rook to f6 check is winning. King to g7 was played. Rook to d4. Knight to c6. Rook to d7 check. King to h6. Bishop to c5. Rook takes on b4. Everything is losing. If knight to e5 check. Rook takes on e5. Rook takes on e5. Bishop to f8. Checkus matus. Back to our game. Rook takes on b4. Bishop takes on b4. Knight takes on b4. White played the move and black resigned and the move is rook to f7. Black resigned in view of rook to h7. Check. Mate. So let's play a random move for black and then rook to h7. Check. Mate. Congratulations, Divya. Divya played very well in a complex game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.